The next-gen AMD Ryzen processors aren't going to use the 5-year-old M4 socket. It has been known very well from the past year that the new generation will rather be compatible with the all-new M5 socket. And this time, AMD has changed the way they used to design their sockets. For more than a decade, AMD has been producing sockets for pin-equipped CPUs, but M5 is not going to be a pinless socket design or the PGA, but will rather be an LGA socket. More accurately, M5 platform is going to be an LGA1718. While we can discuss its advantages over the PGA socket later, the official statements from AMD is making it look way better than we thought. AMD, unlike Intel, has been fantastic when it comes to the socket life. While Intel hardly stays at a particular socket for two years, AMD has been sticking with their PGA sockets for several years now. And this is going to be true for the AM5 socket as well. In a recent interview on PC World, AMD employees have revealed a few interesting details on the AM5 platform that will be the first to support the Ryzen 7000 series processors. Moreover, Dr. Lisa Su herself just announced that the life of M5 will be long. She said, I don't have an exact number of years, but I would say that you should expect that M5 will be long-lived platform as M4 has been. She also added that I think we are expecting M4 to stay in the marketplace for quite some years and it will be a sort of an overlapping type of thing. Now, M4 got released in 2017 and it's now 5 years old. If you go by what Dr. Lisa says, then M5 will live much longer than 5 years as M4 is still in the market and will continue to be in use for a good amount of time. Not only that, but M5 is actually bringing some backwards compatibility. When PC World talked to AMD employees, they said that M5 CPUs will be of the same size as the M4 CPUs. While the processor which Dr. Lisa showed in CS featured a completely new design, this design is not an outcome for making it look better but rather to host more capacitors on the IHS side. This gave AMD chance to put more pads on the bottom of the chip and therefore the chip retained its normal M4 processor size. The reason they did this is because M4 platform cannot be sufficient for next-gen features like the PCI Express Gen 5 and DDR5 memories. They needed more pin density and that could be only achievable through an LGA socket as equipping those many pins isn't possible on the processors itself. Therefore, without increasing the processor's package size, they are achieving all of this through the socket instead. And due to this, Halop confirmed that even the M4 socket compatible CPU coolers are going to be compatible with M5 socket as well. That means if you own an expensive Air or an AIO cooler for your current Ryzen chip, you can just continue with that with your Ryzen 7000 series CPU upgrade. This can also go true for those who don't want to upgrade with the Ryzen 7000 series processors but with the future Ryzen CPUs compatible with the AM5 socket. While all the details related to thermal requirements for Ryzen 7000 CPUs are still unknown, it's not very far from the official launch of Ryzen 7000 series. AMD already announced in CES that the Ryzen 7000 CPUs and the AM5 socket will be available in the second half of 2022. This means that those who have been waiting very long for a proper upgrade can get their gaming builds updated before the end of this year. Now I'm just waiting to see some leaks on the performance of Ryzen 7000 series CPUs as it is going to be huge. So if you don't want to miss any updates regarding that, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you next time.